training video on our tanker, 1504, is 2,000 gallons. Uh, PTO pump is 500 gallons per minute. Uh, we're going to walk around here and show you how to get, get going at first. We got power, turn the power on, unplug it. Then we're going to be ready to start it. Ignition key on. There's a start button to start the motor. You hear the beeping sound. That is the air brakes. We want there's a gauge here showing you pressure on the air brakes. Once the brakes are ready, uh, it'll go off and we can move the truck. Yep. It takes a few minutes. You can run the RPMs up to get the pressure to start going up a little quicker. You still hear that beeping sound. You wait for that pressure to build up on the brakes. Almost there. Okay, we're ready. The little red light went out, so we're ready to move the truck. Okay, put on the brake. Release the air brake. Push it in. Put in drive. We're ready to go. When you get where you're going, before you turn it off, put it put it in neutral. Pull the emergency brake, you'll hear the air. And then you're good to go. Turn off the truck. Now, this is 1504 again, 2,000 gallons of water, 500 uh, gallons per minute PTO pump. We'll get to the pump in a minute. We have storage behind the cab. We carry vest, tool kit, some chairs. If you're sitting in a long place, you can sit down a while. Uh, Hose bed valves. They're labeled bed one. It's an inch and a half. Bed two. Two and a half. You don't open these valves until the hose is completely out. This is a two and a half inch discharge for filling other trucks or running a red line to use a, uh, a nozzle. All our gauges, pump, everything. It shows you out, out pressure on each of these lines. Water pressure complete. What our tank's got, usually when it gets down to two lights, we do a visual inspection of the tank and Brad's on top there to open up and look. Just These gauges sometimes aren't true and we don't want to run the pump dry. We got 200, uh, 200 feet of two and a half inch line that we can deploy. We also carry some fill hose to fill the truck and uh, inch and a half. Some more two and a half inch hoses in here. Wheel chocks are in here. Uh, you, you park on a hard surface. You chalk your wheels. This compartment is some fittings. Uh, wise hose clamps. We, we, we also carry a, a auxiliary pump. If we uh, have to pump out of a uh, pond or lake or something, we can pump water with this. Uh, gasoline for it. We carry Y fittings, hose clamp, shelf valves. This is a storage connector that goes on our drop tank to hook a, a two and a half to it. Also, for that pump on top is a suction line. We'll show that to you in a minute. This is a uh, our chute, we drop the whole, all the water into a drop tank. Uh, it's got a safety catch on it, so you don't uh, mistakenly pull it, because once you pull it, you're dropping 2,000 gallons of water. Traffic cones for road operation, you put them out. Uh, be careful on the highways. Our ladder get up, 
this is our red line. Uh, the PTO pump has to be running. The valve for it, because we can use this hose to, to protect the truck in case of fire or use it to dampen one if we're close enough. This compartment, we carry a generator for use if we need to run lights or any extra equipment. Some more fittings in here. We carry a tarp to put uh, down on the ground for the uh, drop tank. Walking around the side of the truck, we got a fire extinguisher. We got 200 more feet of uh, two and a half inch hose. We carry water. We fill it up with ice before we leave. Here's our drop tank. It's 2,500 gallons. So when we deploy that, we can put the tank out, drop the water in, and go get more while they start using it. This here hose is the use for the pump, the auxiliary pump. We drop that in the lake. It's got a filter, a strainer filter on the other side. Here's another two and a half inch discharge. All your discharges. The PTO pump has to be running on that. We'll show that operation and pump later. Valves to shut it off. Uh, this compartment, we carry some more vest, some uh, wrenches for the uh, flush valves. Also, there's a, a, a stand that we deploy to put the hose up over the top of the drop tank to suck water out of it. To fill this truck, here's the fill for the truck. We got a valve and these be open. We fill this truck here by another truck, flush valves, pump, whatever, we, where we can get water. We use this to fill the truck. Goes up through that tube and you hear it going in. We can monitor the lights on the side for fill, plus you can get on top and look in there and we see when you're full. When, when you're actually on a scene, hard road surface, we do put the wheel chalk, the chalks out. We may keep the truck on a hard surface. It could be a two track that's hard, but not cross country. It weighs too much. Uh, the truck is always running. We leave it running the whole time we're there. Uh, we have to start the PTO pump. We, we don't run the PTO pump until we're needed. If the truck pulls up and needs water, we turn the PTO on and we turn it off back and forth as we need to uh, send water out. Go through the operation and starting the pump. Now I said that the truck will be running. Down underneath the dash here is a switch for the PTO. When you engage it, you'll hear it. That's the PTO running. Now, now to run the pressure up on the on the PTO or RPMs up, you turn the cruise control on. It says resume or sell. Push it and hold it. That way you run a constant pressure if you have to. Most time you don't use very much on filling the truck, but if you're using the hose to on a fire deployment, you want that pressure up about 75 pounds, and you watch your gauges on the side. Once once you're done filling the truck or anything, you shut it off. Shut down the PTO pump. We don't leave it running. Just for demonstration purposes. We, we turn the truck off for the noise. But here's where we uh, discharge two and a half inch. We got two fill hoses. We use these to fill a truck. Truck pulls up. We fill our trucks up. We start the pumps. Everything get the pump running. And that, that's about all there's to it. We also use this hose. To fill our truck at a flush valve, auxiliary pump, out of the lake, whatever, this hose can be used for that. Now, if we're going to spy a, a big truck somewhere, we use a longer hose, 50, 100 foot away, 
we use some of these other hoses to fill our trucks during operations. Here's some uh, instruments inside the truck you be familiar with. There's the start the pump. There's instructions here. If you don't remember how, you go step by step on those instructions. Uh, phone charger, radio. Uh, radio's on a, on, a, uh, on a southwest uh, channel. We got headsets. Two headsets in here that we can wear. It helps out when two people are working this truck. Tell the other one, hey, we, we shut it down. We got this truck full, so we use the headsets. It's better communications. Carry a flashlight. Uh, we got some safety vests under the seat. Uh, this box is for the headsets. Channel 4 is our truck number, and that headsets are, are, are channeled to Channel 4. Uh, once you push a button on the headset, it transmits on the radio word station that's on. Other than that, it just as you talk, you, you hear each other as you, going on. Uh, we put our par tags on here. We get them off the board. Uh, leave them on the board. It says 1504. Goes on the board. One par tag on that. One par tag here so we know, hey, this is who came on this truck. So... Pretty much it. Yeah, our ones are light light controls, gauges, uh, start engines down here. You see that a little better. PO, PTOs down here. Uh, there's a work light switch here. Uh, if you work at night, and that up here's your uh, uh, mercy lights on everything. There's other buttons that do side lights on each side. Uh, that's pretty much it. And I said 2,000 gallons, 500 gallons of mint, PTO shaft.